What's up, Creepers and Geekers Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? You know, ironically, I was getting set up to do a video about the esteemed Atari VCS and an article in which I read um, where they briefed a little bit on the Intellivision Amico, but among other things. And one of the things that were brought up in there was a streaming service called AntStream. And I was thinking to myself, hmm... I wonder what that's all about. And as I was getting set up to talk about this article, I got the email. <laughs> no lie. You can't make this shit up. The heading of the, uh, of the email says, the games are here. And um, I'm going to say, nope. Nope. I mean, okay. Before we go into this any further. If this type of thing is okay with you, if this is, if this is what you're after, then fine. I hope you enjoy your Atari VCS and your Ant stream. But I'm here to tell you guys that um, I actually did research for the first time in a long time before speaking. And in the email, you get this link here. All right. So I'm not going to read all this like I say in every video like this. I'm just going to touch my briefs on this real quick. I'll leave the link to this down below. You can read it and figure out whatever the hell you want. But basically on the 30th of September, the iconic, the iconic consumer brands and interactive entertainment producers, Atari. All right, I'm going to stop right there. The reason I have a problem with that is because this isn't Atari. This is a new version of Atari. So they're not the iconic anything. They're not iconic anything. Stop with that shit. It's a name they're using. This has nothing to do with what we all love. Case closed. Uh, says they announced their partnership with a revolutionary retro gaming platform, AntStream Arcade. This partnership brings an enhanced and exclusive Atari edition of the Ant... Ant I keep wanting to call it Amstrad. Uh, AntStream Game Streaming Service... To the upcoming Atari VCS Home Gaming and Entertainment Center. See that? And Entertainment System. So they're slowly veering away from the whole gaming thing. But we're, we're talking about gaming here, okay? So for anyone who didn't know, like me, until I looked up what this Ant Streaming was. Ant Streaming was a crowdfunded Netflix-style service <clears throat> for older games. And at the time of some of the videos I was watching, yes, Pat's Unnecessary Podcast, whatever the fuck came up, among a few others, um, it looks like it was a bunch of British PC 8-bit gaming with some more available, I will say. I won't say cheaper, but easily more av available arcade titles. So you had somewhere from like 200 games at launch of this service to about 2,000 games total. So Atari has essentially teamed up with them to add that library to their gaming console, okay? And apparently there's going to be an exclusive version of it for Atari VCS people. And this is where I'm getting confused. I've read this thing three or four times, all right? Believe it or not, I do know how to fucking read. I really do. And it talks about an exclusive Atari VCS version of it. But then it says... That people who are already in there can also enjoy the 50 fucking plus games right here. Uh, let's see. I keep wanting to call it Amstrad. Ant Stream. They really should find a way to type that so it's separated. Arcade on the Atari VCS will exclusively offer 50 classic Atari titles at launch for new and existing and stream arcade users. So I don't know if that means they're trying to say that this is an exclusive version just for the Atari VCS. And if you already happen to have that service and you want to transfer it over to your VCS when you do finally receive whatever it might become, then you're going to get these. Or if I'm already an ant streaming service guy, that I will also get those then. Can I? Okay, let's stop there. AntStream is something that you can already have today. You can have it today. You just got to go to their website. I believe it's just AntStream.com. And you sign up for the service. It's between $8 and $10 a month. 
eight and ten dollars a month. Keep that in mind. And you can have their library. Now, what I'm saying is, if you get the, can you download the Atari exclusive one without having to use it on your Atari VCS? See, this is the shit that pisses me off about this Atari stuff. This is misleading. This is something that you can have. You don't need a three hundred dollar box. To do this laptop I have right here, I could put it on there. Okay, I could put it on your computer, I could put it on my girlfriend's computer. And how are you supposed to be able to do an exclusive service like this on a machine that's open source and sandboxy and all that crap? It's gonna have Linux for fuck's sake. That's as that's as open as you get. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they're trying to hype you up with the words exclusive and and uh, you know. And all you're going to get is 2,000 titles that already exist that you can play on that service, which I'm hearing the service is pretty good for the most part. It has its glitchy issues, but it's streaming. It's video games that are streaming, okay? But then they're going to add Atari titles to it, which should already be on the fucking thing anyway. Period. And... You'll be able to access that with or without an Atari VCS. That's how I'm looking at it right now. If I'm wrong, correct me down below. But this is just yet another way that this new Atari is trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. I'm not even trying to be such a dickhead towards this thing. They're giving me the information. And they even said at one point, I think it was in the email. It was in the email. You know, I am going to switch here so I can go into my email. Without you seeing it, because, you know, I don't know who the fuck's out there watching. I mean, if you want to get into my email, go ahead. Nothing, there's really, there's really nothing, there's really nothing in there. But they even had the balls to talk about how, yeah, I know we've been silent. Um, let me, let me pull it up here. Holy shit, just bear with me. The fucking balls on these guys. It, it, it's, it's, it's getting frustrating. It's getting frustrating. So it says, you know, the games are here. Yahoo! Hello, backers, fans, and followers. Ready for some exciting new Atari VCS news? After, hold on. Where, where is it? I gotta scroll to the side here. After a bit more radio silence <laughs> um, that we'd planned, that we'd, we'd, W E apostrophe D planned, um, we're now ready to talk about something that you've all been waiting to hear about more games. And guys, I hate to tell you this, but you're not sure you're getting games on the system. That's that's a fact, okay? You're going to start getting games, but you're not getting anything that's worth buying a $300 box that says Atari on. Uh, because you can just do this with anything you already own. For real. Um, so, I don't know. It's up to you. It's up to you. If this is the type of thing that you're okay with, if you just want a brand new piece of equipment that says Atari on it, and this type of thing is okay with you, then I am fucking happy for you. I know it doesn't sound like I am. I'm a little stressed out right now <laughs> about personal financial things. But if this is what gets you off, that's fine. You know, fucking continue whacking that fucking meat. But. $250 to $300 for a console, and then you're going to be paying $10 a month, which to me seems a little high. What What is Xbox and Nintendo getting a month for their services? Um, PlayStation. Uh, someone tell me those numbers down below. I'm not researching that because I don't give it two shits. But $10 a month seems a little high, especially to play Atari games, which should be on the console already. But the whole point of where I'm trying to get at is it's not offering anything new. There's nothing new being offered here. And that's what a new console is supposed to do. Sure, the Amigo is, is is banking on the games of yesteryear, some polished versions of it, some updated versions of it, but there are also new games being developed. New. Did you hear that word? New. Games that hadn't been played yet before are being developed. And that's the major difference here before anyone starts fucking puking all over me. But chances are half of you Atari VCS Kool-Aid drinking fucks aren't going to make it this far anyway. So... Either way, go ahead and leave your angry feedback down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive. I get more thumbs down on these Atari VCS videos, and you guys have no idea how hard that makes me. Because it's an honest, it's an honest fucking thumbs down 
that I, I, I enjoy. There's usually one from somebody who thumbs down all the time, no matter what I do. I could do a video about puppies, or I could do a video about video games. We could talk about this wolf thing again. It doesn't matter. He'll put a thumbs down, but that's because he's a little girl. Um, and he hides behind a keyboard, and he won't have an actual conversation with me. Oh, well, you keep, you know, wearing your makeup and giving me a thumbs down, and I'll enjoy creating these videos for you to do so. And like I said, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. To all my new subscribers, holy shit, I keep growing. Never thought in a million years. It took five and a half, six years, but I'm actually growing, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you, regardless if you agree or disagree, and that's the beauty of this whole thing. I'm not going to puke on you for your opinion. I'll just put forth my argument and have a conversation versus an argument. Guys, I hope the start of your week is going phenomenal. Until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye.